let's take a look at a tool online called Flat. To get to Flat, there's the address right there. And Flat is um, a place where you can write your own music scores online. And what's nice about it is it's collaborative. So you can um, comment on other people's, you can share a sheet music um, together and create. Um, so it's kind of a nice feature. And it's free. Of course, you can um, pay an upgrade to get more bells and whistles, but um, the free online part uh, is valuable, and I've, I've used only the free service. So to sign in, you need an email and password. Of course, you can also sign in through Google, which is what I do. And this is what it looks like when you sign in. Um, you have, I, I've learned, what I'm learning is you have um, a limited amount of public scores, but an unlimited amount of private scores. We're going to go ahead and make a public score, and we need to title it. Um, go ahead and pick the instrument that you want. Let's say, oh, I, oh yeah, I don't, I don't want two pianos. Um, I wanted silo, you know, a glockenspiel. Then I can go ahead and fix that. When I hit that select button, I can delete the ones I didn't want. Okay, I could add another instrument if I wish. So, then I hit create when I'm ready. Of course, I need to pick the key signature and the time signature. And then I'm ready to compose. Okay, so this blue menu up here is kind of my main menu, um, but down here are all of the menu items I need to create my piece of music. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can get rid of that blue bar, and then I can hit the zoom in or zoom out to see better. There's also a different display here, display mode that is uh, helpful to know about. Um, here's where I can copy and paste things once I've got them in in the way I like, and of course if something a phrase repeats or something, it's a nice quick shortcut. Um, but the notes, pick the notes you need and type it in. Of course, if I pick something I didn't want, I just move it to where I would like it. Um, there are articulations, there are dynamics, measures, lyrics. Um, you can add in chords. When I'm ready, I can hit save. I can also export it to a PDF, um, an MP3, kind of lots of different options there. I can, of course, print it. Um, these icons here, if I want to add some instruments, I can add the instruments, or if I want to change the order of how they're seen on the screen, I can do that. See, I added an instrument. Maybe I don't want that. I don't want this, so I'm going to get rid of that. Yes, I, I want to get rid of that. And then I hit OK down here. Um, this is a page layout, which might be helpful if I'm printing. Um, if I scroll back to the top, and I kind of zoom out a little bit so I can kind of see everything on one page, I can hit the play button. and I can listen to my piece. Here's also where I can add someone so that they can collaborate with me. They can be um, admin, they can write, and you can't see it, but it says they can read it. So you can decide what rights they're allowed to have and then go ahead and invite them. It sends them an email with a link and they can link right to this page. Um, what else? Of course your tempos here. If I click on this, I don't like the title that I gave, but I, you know, I can change that. Um, I can add the composer, etc. And when I'm ready, I can hit save. Okay? And then, of course, I can always go back and change that. Um, here 
is where I can then, when my song is ready, I can send it off to Facebook or Twitter. I can embed it in my own website. Um, so that's a real quick tutorial of, or tour, I guess I should say, of flat. Mm -hmm.